With the new import options added in 2015 PU1 to import graphical representation, we've expanded on that to allow you to dimension to that data that's imported. For example, we'll go ahead and import a SOLIDWORKS file that has graphic data stored with the data. Once we place the file, we can see that we now have edges that represent the model, even though this data is all facet or graphical data inside of here. But now we can actually extend our usability of this geometry by actually being able to run our smart dimension tools and our measurement tools on a limited set of measurement tools on the geometry. For example, if we wanted to measure the center of our parts, we can just go ahead and select on the edge, just like you would a normal B-Rep geometry, center to center, to get a dimension. We can measure the height, for example, from here down to the bottom surface or this top surface here. We can measure various things. We can also measure radial dimensions on holes, angle, angle dimensions if we wanted to measure the angle of our rib pattern here. Of course, it's going to be 90 in this case. We can get various dimensions on this geometry, even though it's graphical data. It's not actually precise, but it is actually a very useful tool to help you use this data to build around. And of course, with the graphical data, you can actually import data to have real geometry to continue to mod modify this geometry. For example, if we wanted to really modify this geometry, we could actually say replace by imported BREP which will actually load the solid data, you'll see that this is now a solid part with a B-Rep there. So that we actually can go into this and actually continue to modify it just like it was native in IronCAD. For example, if we wanted to extend this face, we can grab our handle to extend that further out or make some other modifications in here using direct editing. We can just select on an object, turn the tribal on, move this face out to make this rib a little bit longer for our case. Or push it down if we wanted to as well. We just put, push that down to make it smaller and longer in our case. So this is just an example of using the graphical data import that you can now measure to using the dimension tools, the smart dimension tools, and the measurement tools, and also the ability to take that graphic data and extend it back to the real data so you can modify and still have performance uh, improvements using the graphical representation.